reflect on uh, Friday night, a couple of days on? Uh, you on it? Yeah, we uh, you know we came off a really an average effort the week before and around the scramble, around the midfield, uh, we improved that. But our method with and without the ball wasn't as effective as what it should have been. So we uh, we looked at one area of the game, which was which was you know around that scramble area, the ground balls in particular got that. Certainly improved on that, but our method with and without the ball is still not as effective as what we want it to be. Yeah, what, what do you focus on this week? Is it just general ball use or, or the way you enter the 50? Or oh, It's always a combination of everything. Um, it's just making sure we get the fundamentals right. Um, you know, that we, you know, with and without the ball, just making sure that we play with more system than what we've been doing. We've just been um, uh, you know, making some basic errors, so we've just got to tidy those things up. How, how do you kind of hone and prepare for that? I mean, basic errands are under pressure. You can't really train for that, can you? I oh, know you keep training it. You keep training it under pressure. So, and that's what we'll continue to do. Um, we'll continue to train it under under pressure and and uh, keep working on those things. It's sort of it's a never-ending process. You're always trying to do it, trying to get better at it. Um, you know, we ended up having more inside fifties, but our lack of effectiveness when going forward was um, was something that we've got to improve on. On um, the free kick count, obviously it went significantly against you. When you've sat down and watched the tape, were you guys as ill-disciplined as what that would suggest, or? or uh, yeah, it was almost a twice the difference. But um, there was a, you know, there's a number there that we, we the free kicks were there against us. But um, we're just looking to, to hopefully get the get the rub of the green the other way as well. So um, you know that we've um, that's what we'd like to be able to get is. If they're there, they're there both ways, and, and to pay them. So, do you think with all the rule changes, it's been hard for the the umpires might not have kept up the same speed? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure. You probably have to ask the umpires that. Um, you know, we're we're just trying to, you know, if they're if they're there for both teams, pay them. Um, it's um, you know, there was a few there against us that should have been paid, and they were. But um, you know, if they're there for both teams, make sure they're paid. Were there one or two areas there that concerned you in terms of the free kicks given away? You know, recurring issues at all? Or? Oh, there's a little bit around the around the stoppages. We were, um, you know, we were trying to address some of the areas last week that we were poor at, around particularly the hard ball, loose ball gets around that scramble, and and we improved that, but we gave away a few stoppages at the same time, uh, a few free kicks at the same time at the stoppages. So, you know, those are the areas we've got to make sure that we keep our intensity up around there, but don't also give away the free kicks. And um, you know, that was probably the areas that were consistent. From the sounds of it, it looks like a couple of guys did pretty well on the knee full. Yeah, Kieran Jack and Tom McCartan, a couple of others. Yeah, who would you look at seriously for for this week? Yeah, we'll look at them all and and work out how much uh, are they ready to go if they're ready to go game time wise, and um, um, that'll be the question that we'll ask. Uh, you know, around match committee and the selection wise this week is is who's ready to ready to go in that in that regard. So. Um, you know, Kieran, Tom, there's a few others that perform quite well um, and um, be able to give us some depth underneath. And you know, if there's players not playing well, we need to look at that as well. Has Kieran Dunn pulled up well again? He played extra minutes this week. Yeah, I think he, oh, yeah, he didn't play a lot more extra minutes in the week before. He was looking at to not up his workload too much because if he upped his workload too much in week two, he might have uh, pulled up a bit sore. So he's, the plan was to take him a little bit slower in his build-up than what he's done previously. So. We just have to weigh that up, and we're looking at whether he's available for senior selection or not. Does his experience obviously does it count as a positive towards him if he's still a little bit away from being 100% match fit? Oh, yeah, it does. It's absolutely it does. It's just it's just whether he's you know if he's ready to play, we need to make sure that he's right to go for you know 90 minutes of AFL standard footy. So. Um, that'll be the discussion we'll have about Kieran this week. Did everybody pull up okay from the game on Friday? Yeah, yeah. Isaac's had a bit of a sore ankle for a few weeks, but um, I think from, apart from that, they're okay. Would he kind of be given lighter duties? I mean, I know you've got a what, the eight-day turnaround now. Uh, yeah, look, at the start of the week he won't be doing a lot, um, but the, you know, the back end of the week we certainly hope he trains and is able to, to put his hand up to play. Is that the same ankle he, he did against the Suns in the yeah. early part of that game? Yeah, yeah, so the last JLT game. So he's just tweaked that a couple of times and and uh, that can be a bit tougher to get over, uh, particularly early in the year, but if he gets through the next couple of weeks it should be OK, but just at the moment it's just a little bit sore. Is that keeping him out of the midfield at the moment as, as much? Uh, well, it's, yeah, he's just had a bit of he's had a sore ankle there, so he's been you know, stationed a bit more forward. He's, doing, he's, he's played some yeah. midfield time, um, but you know he's been playing forward a bit as well. Um, young blokes across the competition have had a, a pretty good start. Like a, 
Port and Brisbane Lions, uh, mm. that, you know, they've been a big part of why those two teams are the, the, the top part of the ladder. You called for yours to, to sort of lift at the weekend. Are, are you hopeful and, and confident that there's going to be a lift to come out of yours? Yeah, we are. I mean, there's they, you know, they've played significant roles, our young players and our team, for quite a while now, or for the last couple of years. So, you know, we'd, we'd like to be able to have that consistency keep improving. That's not always an upward upwards curve. So, you know, we understand that, but we'd like a, a more of a contribution across our 22 more of an even contribution across our 22 than what we've been getting, so you know, that's what we're after as well. John, um, I know other people at the club have spoken to Eddie McGuire since Friday. Have you mm. had a conversation with him since since then? No, I haven't. Um, I had a uh, you know contacted obviously Cynthia on, on the weekend and um, you know expressed our disappointment. And she was really excited. I caught up with her before the game. She was really excited for the for the coin toss and. She's just a wonderful person, so um, you know, she, she's okay. Obviously, it's disappointing that it happened, um, but you know, I haven't spoken to Eddie. No. What's she um, yeah, meant for the club over the years, and you know, what kind of relationship does she have with the, the players and people at the club? Oh, she's just a, she's just an absolutely passionate supporter. When she talks about um, some of the tough times that she's been through, she um, talks about her footy club and and um, and how. You know, just supporting the footy clubs helps her through some tough times, but she's, um, you know, we need to respond and help her as, as much as we can as well, and that's what we'll try and do, just support her and uh, and understand that, you know, she didn't, didn't want to be the focus of the discussion at this point. She just wanted to go out and toss the coin and go back and support a footy, footy team. Do you have any thoughts about what, um, you know, changes that they should bring about or consequences that, that maybe they should make? Um? Uh, no, I don't. I mean, that's, that's up for... Powers would be. Uh, that's up for the AFL. It's not up, not up to me. Um, you know, we just we'll just support Cynthia and just um, you know, make sure she's okay and, and loved by the Swans. What about the AFL do anything? That's up to them. Uh, they'll make decisions uh, as they see fit. Uh, what about the change you face this weekend? You're going back to Marvel the second time in three weeks. Mm. The, a side that most people feel that's probably improved since last season. A, a, a side oh, against Carlton? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, they certainly played really well for periods on the weekend. They were very competitive, there's no question. They've, they've certainly improved. Um, they looked as though they were uh, they were right in the game there for a, a fair bit of the game. And, you know, they, they've certainly improved their game. There's no question about that. John, um, you, I think you mentioned in the pre-season that maybe there's a misconception about Lance that, you know, he's a star player, but, um, you know, in terms of his leadership role, but that, that's something that you... You've spoken about before just how invested he is in that sort yeah. of things. I mean, have you seen that in this time where you've lost two in a row? Has he sort of that leadership side of things come out in him? Yeah, I mean, we saw it in the second quarter. He really lifted in that, in that second term with some big contests and, and um, he had a big presence in our forward half there, certainly for periods of the game when he really lifted. And, and that's what we, we, uh, you know, we know that he does. He certainly provides that. When the team, get, team gets challenged, he's able to lift. Um, but we need—it's not just about Lance; it's about making sure there's more players jumping on board when that happens to us. Yeah, well, has he pulled up now? That he's had two games in a row. But... Yeah, he's, he's he's all right actually. Yeah, he's pulled up all right. So he's he's certainly playing with that real intensity and freedom uh, with his run and his kick, um, his competitive spirit when, without the ball. So he certainly improved that. Um, you know, we'd hope that that gets, keeps on getting better as well. Do you, do you see him staying in the team for the next few weeks? I know you've got some shorter breaks and that and in pre-season you were wondering whether to, to throw him out there because of sort of the way that your first month and a bit is structured in terms of your games. Yeah, just, you know, at the moment he's been pulling up well, so that's a good sign. So if he's pulling up well, he continues to play. And um, the first two games we got through OK and hopefully we keep getting through OK as well. And he's able to keep improving his performance as well at the same time because, you know, he, at the back end of of the week, he's certainly been feeling well enough to be able to train, which is a really good sign. How would you rate um, Aaliyah's game at the weekend? He uh, was involved quite a fair bit. Yeah, he know, was. Pretty electrifying. Sometimes. Yeah, he was. He's sort of, um, he was able to defend really well at times as well. He was able to win his one-on-ones and he was able to turn defence into attack. And So he's, his game was, he's been tracking along pretty well this pre-season. He's had a, had a good few weeks. Um, and you know, it's been important for him down back. He's thrown in the ruck at times as well. So his versatility has been pretty good. We've had now two rounds, a bit more body of evidence to work on. What have you made of the rule changes across all games, not just this one? Uh, well, the centre bounce one's clearly the, the big impact at the moment, and um, you, know, you, you are very um, mindful of winning the centre clearances, and when it comes out, there's, there's not a lot of support there. You need to make sure you win your one-on-ones. So um, I think it was North Melbourne, I think Brad Scott commented yesterday after the game about the 
um, the centre bounces and how important it was to win them or at least halve them. And um, you know, we're the same. I think most teams are the same. Uh, you need to make sure that you get that area of the ground right. I think we had four goals kicked against us, but you know, we could have defended a bit well with those high balls. Um, so you need to be able to, in one-on-one -on -one situations, be able to halve those footies when they're coming in. We saw um, at the Eagles and Giants game, um, the Eagles, through Lewis Jetta, did quite a few long kicks from defence, from yeah. the kick-in. Yeah. Um, that worked coast-to-coast -coast quite a few times. Um, is that something you've trained for Yeah, with Lewis, critical moments? Yeah, yeah it's just, um, you know, Lewis is a long kick, so you've got to have the, you've got to have the skills to be able to roost it to, to 70 out. And Lewis, we know Jets as well as anyone, and he can kick it a long way. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll keep on working those things as well, keep on working the different tactics. But, you know, mainly it's just a, our method with and without the ball. We've just got to keep working on that, keep honing that, keep improving it. Aside from 666, six, six, do you think the other changes have had much of a discernible impact on the game at all? Uh, the kickings, you get further up the ground, you get to the fatter part of the ground, so that's had a, that's had a bigger impact. Um, they're probably the two main ones that have, that have had, the, had the most impact. Um, obviously, the, the double 50 cost us on the weekend as well, which wasn't ideal. So, um, But you know, we should know that rule, we, we just made a mistake. The runners doesn't stress you too much? Uh, well, I mean, we've, we've been... You know, on, on the record of saying we prefer the runners stay in, but they're not, so we have to adjust. How's Heath Grundy tracking at this point? Uh, okay, whether he plays or not this week, we're not sure yet. So we'll wait until the end of the week, uh, see how he pulls up on Thursday. So we're not quite sure whether he's right to play or yet or not. And if McCartan was ready to go, would you have any issue playing him, Sam and Lance in the same four uh, down at one stage, no, or would you have to mix them around? No, not necessarily. If they're, if they're all up and running and they're all been able to train and been able to move and get up and down the ground, uh, we wouldn't have an issue with it. It's just um, if they're all up and fit and running, it's it's they're pretty mobile, all three of them. So whilst they've got some height on their side, they can still get up and down the ground really well. So we wouldn't have a problem with that if, if we needed to. Are you still looking exclusively as uh, Nick Blakey as a forward or could you use him somewhere else? No, we can use him somewhere else. We've talked about him using him up, up in the midfield, particularly the wing. Um, so that's still an option for us as well. And there's no doubt he'll develop into a player that'll be able to play up the ground and play through that midfield area with his kick and, and height. He can give out, give support and defence as well as go forward and mark it. So you know, that's an option for us as well. How soon, we're not sure yet, but that's certainly an option. The last two have been pretty low scoring. Eight against the Crows, nine against the Dogs. I mean, mm. are you talking to the guys about where the extra goals are going to come from? Or uh, that's what we're working on, trying to get better method with our ball in hand, just not making basic errors, being able to transfer the ball up in ground. I mean, the, the week before, was we didn't get our hand on it through the middle of the ground. Um, so that was that was their challenge. Uh, on the weekend, we got more inside 50s. We just didn't use it on the way through. So we're just going to make sure we work on that area.